another critical uh, thing to talk about when we're talking about forces, when we're tying this whole thing together, is this uh, discussion of balanced and unbalanced systems. Now, the word balanced and unbalanced has kind of crept into the vocabulary when we're talking about Newton's second law. Um, so it's important that we talk about it. So when we're referring to a balanced system, we're referring to a system where all the forces on that object balance each other out. Okay? Now, remember the idea of orthogonality is that um, x direction and y direction are independent of each other. So when we're really talking about balance, we should say balance in the x, balance in the y. Um, it, it kind of just simplifies things a little bit. So if it's balanced, that means that any force that I apply on that block is being counteracted by another force. The important thing about a balanced system is, is that the acceleration is equal to zero, but not necessarily the velocity. So when you talk about a balanced system, the object's not experiencing a change in its motion. Its motion remains constant whether that motion be stationary or whether it's moving at a constant velocity. You can create a balanced system simply enough by moving an object across the floor. The, if, if you exert just enough force to overcome the force of friction so that the force of friction is just enough in this direction to overcome your force in this direction, see, I'm looking at the camera, um, then you're moving at a constant velocity and the system is balanced, okay? So in that case, you have a balanced system. Now, if I were to talk about pushing that object across the floor, and here's my force applied, that's me pushing, and here's the force of friction. Now, if I apply more force, and this vector grows, okay, then that system becomes unbalanced. So in an unbalanced system, that means that the acceleration is some constant, and that constant is something other than zero, and that the velocity does not remain constant. It changes. It grows or it decreases, depending on which way your velocity is set up. Okay? So when we're looking at balanced systems, we're looking at a system that's in equilibrium, a translational equilibrium. And that balance means that the object's not experience a change in its motion. It also means that the velocity isn't necessarily equal to zero. Biggest misconception is, is that most people think that if a system is balanced, that velocity is equal to zero. That is a load of horse pucky. Okay? That means that the object can be moving. It's just moving with a constant velocity. An unbalanced system can mean that if, as long as these forces remain constant, that the acceleration, the change in the acceleration is constant, and that the velocity does not remain constant. It's either increasing or decreasing, depending on how you set your vectors up. Okay? So that's balanced and unbalanced systems. So it's really important that you know that.